This is Baby Driver, and this movie is way cooler than it has any business being. The film is very unique. The main reason for that is in how Baby Driver's director, Edgar Wright, sets up the titular role of Baby. Your name's Baby. B-A-B-Y Baby. It's very seldom that you see a character set up using stunts to tell you everything you need to know about them. In the opening of the film, Edgar Wright choreographs a captivating vehicular ballet, bursting at the seams with the kind of intensity that shocks us, intrigues us, draws us in, and leaves us wanting more. But before we get into this, be sure to like and subscribe to Nerdstalgic if you haven't done so already. Baby Driver, released in 2017, is the fifth film directed by Edgar Wright. Baby Driver's story is centered around the titular character of Baby as he navigates a world of crime, while working his way out from under the thumb of a dangerous crime boss as a getaway driver for bank heists. It's fast-paced, fun, stylish, intense, and full of amazing music. This shit is bananas, dog. Stunt work is an often overlooked and underappreciated element of the filmmaking process. When we go to see a film, we don't really say to ourselves, oh my god, Darren Prescott was the stunt coordinator for this, now I really have to see it. However, stunt persons and stunt work provide us with the wow factor we seek when we go to a film. The fantastic feats we observe our main characters as being capable of are actually the result of large teams of performers who put their lives on the line on a daily basis. In the case of Baby Driver, that work is the result of around 150 people working tirelessly to deliver some seriously intricate vehicular moves to set the hook on the film's core premise. Baby Driver's stunt coordinator was none other than the aforementioned Darren Prescott. He was the stunt coordinator for the John Wick movies, Drive, The Bourne Supremacy, and The Bourne Ultimatum. The list goes on and on, but he's an extremely sought-after stunt coordinator. And it's because of his ability to seamlessly integrate his work in line with these sort of action auteur's vision. He understands exactly what directors are going for, and he delivers time and time again. He isn't just rigging explosions and throwing his workers off of buildings. He is telling stories through stunts. While you can find spectacular stunt work in just about any given big-budget Hollywood blockbuster, they are seldom used to set up a character. This is even less frequent when that stunt work is done behind the wheel of a car. However, Edgar Wright, Darren Prescott, and a team of stunt drivers are somehow able to deliver an incredible amount of character setup using cars, music, and editing. This opening scene of Baby Driver was conceived from a music video that Edgar Wright directed in 2003, long before Shaun of the Dead even hit theaters. In the music video for Blue Song by Mint Royale, we see an almost identical sequence to what is seen at the top of Baby Driver. Edgar Wright utilizes a technique referred to as diegetic sound, or diegetic editing, in which the music and sounds we hear become an established part of the narrative. Edgar Wright is one of the absolute masters of using diegetic sound to his advantage. The top of the scene is not so much a stunt spectacular, but it does set us up for what is to come. The tale of the savant getaway driver has been told many, many times before, so in order to deliver something unique, you need a director with style, vision, and panache. Edgar Wright delivers all three in spades time and time again. From the moment these three bank robbers get out of the car, all eyes are on Baby as he cues up a song in preparation for the inevitable getaway that is to ensue. This feels like something straight out of a Fred Astaire film, with Baby and the getaway car in a carefully choreographed dance, giving us insight into a character who seems playful and maybe a little too nonchalant given his involvement in the high-stakes bank robbery going on across the street. It's almost a little silly, and we start to get lost in the charming peculiarity of it all. This is intentional, because once that rhythm is interrupted by the sound of gunshots, we immediately hone in on Baby's pressing concern for what is happening inside the bank. It's our first glimpse into this character's ability to empathize with others, which is something we see grow and develop throughout the course of the film. Once he feels like everyone is okay, the music picks up briefly, only to be interrupted once more by the sounds of a bank alarm and police sirens. Once again, we are pulled out of our trance and are immediately thrust into the action at hand. Our first key piece of character development through stunts comes right away. John Bernthal's character points forward, and instead of heeding that command, Baby spins the car in the opposite direction. This not only shows us that when Baby is behind the wheel of a car, he is in charge. It demonstrates a high level of situational awareness, and the focus of a laser beam. Edgar Wright's stylistic approach to editing really shines in this sequence. The rising odometer, aggressive shifting, the sunglasses, it's all setting the tone for the adrenaline-charged life-or-death police chase that is about to ensue. When Baby cuts off this delivery chuck to barely squeeze into the alley, we understand immediately that this is a character who will take calculated risks to get the job done. There's a controlled recklessness to his character, and while we understand that what he is doing is not only putting the lives of his passengers in danger, but also the lives of innocent civilians, we're never afraid. 
Sure, we might clench our teeth a little here and there, but we never feel like Baby is out of control. In a way, we are all John Hamm in this sequence. We are all long for the ride. Just after the turn, we get some excellent drift work from the stunt driver as he threads a needle between these dumpsters. This J-turn is an incredibly difficult stunt to pull off in real life, let alone in action film. It requires precision timing and laser focus. Not only does this demonstrate an exceptional understanding of applied physics, it also highlights Baby's innate ability to look 10 to 15 steps ahead while remaining focused on the task at hand. There's a level of decision-making that is done in nanoseconds, as Baby narrowly avoids catastrophe time and time again, all demonstrating a perfect balance of situational awareness, intelligence, focus, and skill. As highway chases have historically proven, once the helicopters are locked into a fleeing vehicle, the driver and any passengers inside are escaping on borrowed time. So when we see these helicopters zero in on Baby's location, it really feels like the walls are closing in on our gang of criminals. Baby quickly looks left and sees two identical red cars on the freeway, and drifts into the opposite lane. This highlights an ingenuity to his character and an ability to improvise, again highlighting his ability to think 10 steps ahead. His pit maneuver under the overpass to shuffle the three cars delivers to us the understanding of Baby's ability to perceive and anticipate how a person will respond to certain stimuli. He knows that if he slams on the brakes, the car will change lanes, thus confusing the helicopter pilot on the other side of the overpass. Baby can not only read situations, he understands the way people think. After the group exits onto the freeway and speeds into an alleyway, we think they are home free until a police vehicle speeds by. Baby pumps the brakes for probably the first time since the whole endeavor began. When it's absolutely necessary, we now know that Baby can exercise caution as well. They peel into the parking garage, the crew swaps vehicles, and the opening credits roll. All of this character development is done without dialogue or expository scene work. It's all done through riveting, stylish direction from Edgar Wright and expertly timed and executed stunt coordination from Darren Prescott. It's one thing to utilize stunts for style. We've seen this time and time again from films like The Matrix or the Mission Impossible films, and it's not like those sequences are boring or out of place either. Directors and stunt teams are able to pull off some seriously spectacular feats that would have been deemed impossible 10 to 15 years ago. But it's very seldom that these stunts are used to effectively set up a character in a way that translates perfectly to a audience. The stunt coordination, camera work, shot selection, and editing all come together harmoniously to deliver a full and complete understanding of Baby's character before he even opens his mouth for the first time. That's some Oscar shit right there. Baby Driver is a truly captivating film, in which nothing is left to waste. Over its one hour and 33 minute runtime, Wright and his crew accomplishes a lot by showing just a little. Where normally action is reserved for wow factor alone, Wright utilizes it to his advantage, using these stunts to not only tell stories within stories, but also connect us emotionally to the character. And that's it for this week's episode. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section below. You might find a few links floating around in the window here. Feel free to click on them if you want to stick around, and thanks for watching Nerdstalgic.